Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Collins. I'm an endocrinologist, chief of the Skeletal Disorders and Mental Homeostasis section, National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research, National Institutes of Health. I'm here to present a case of a woman with calvarial hyperostosis in the setting of primary hyperparathyroidism. It's a 64-year-old woman who was recently diagnosed with osteoporosis. As part of the evaluation, parathyroid hormone levels and calcium were checked, and she was found to have primary hyperparathyroidism. A single adenoma was removed at surgery, and her hyperparathyroidism was cured. As part of the workup, though, she also had a head CT because she gave us a history that she had had brain calcifications. The head CT revealed a thickened calvarium which is something that can be seen in, in hyperparathyroidism, more commonly in secondary, tertiary, and especially tertiary hyperparathyroidism seen in renal failure. However, it was reminiscent to us of other cases in which we had seen thickening of the calvarium in patients with disorders of PTH signaling. PTH binds to the PTH receptor and through G-alpha-S and downstream cyclic AMP signaling stimulates skeletal stem cells in the calvarium to proliferate, causing calvarium thickening. Also seen in this case, for comparison, were patients with several other disorders of dysregulated parathyroid hormone signaling. Panel B is a woman with pseudo-hypoparathyroidism, PTH resistance at the kidney but not at the bone. C is a patient with hypoparathyroidism who had received what are essentially pharmacologic doses of parathyroid hormone replacement for over a decade. She too developed calvarial thickening. And in the final case, panel D, it's a patient with fibrous dysplasia of bone, which is caused by downstream G-alpha-S signaling and thickening of the calvary there too. I hope you find these pictures instructive.